Welcome to the cavern. Welcome home. <laughs> 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 this is where we're staying now. <laughs> yep. Getting away from it all. Get away from the elements in here. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, we're out here today in the woods, exploring with Lewis. Beautiful day, right? It is beautiful out here today. You know, you can hear the birds chirping, sun shining, you know, and yeah. it's fresh nice, air. Nice, clear, fresh air. Yeah, it's definitely a great day to be out here in the woods. Interesting area we're at today. It used to be part of a town there in the 1800s. You wouldn't know that nature's reclaimed it, but one of the remaining things from the town is the old cemetery, so we'll go check that out. But this was an old farming and citrus community back in the 1880s. Only had a population of around 100 people or so, so it wasn't wow. a real big town, you know. It was only so, just starting out growing. It was just like a small settlement here. Yeah, and mostly people probably worked in the turpentine industry, farming, citrus. There was a railroad nearby. Oh, nice. And um, during the 1890s, we had the great freezes here in Florida. Unfortunately, that wiped out many communities throughout the state, including this one. So this one became abandoned around 1895 or so. Didn't So the town didn't last very long. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, let's take a walk up to the cemetery, though. Yes, let's. There's a road, dirt road right here. It's probably used during the days of the town, don't you think? Probably so, because it goes pretty far back into the woods here, and then it comes up on a main road. Yeah, so yeah, this looks like it would definitely be part of the town here. So here we have an old ghost town cemetery. Cool. Ooh, this looks what? familiar. We had something like this oh, over at, uh, I think it was Charles Cemetery, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. A memorial of sorts, right? The different names. Mm-hmm. All the people that are buried here, looks like. Uh, See the years yeah. here. The year that they were born. Looks like this one says 1835, passed away in 1893. Infant graves. Oh, baby boy. Uh, 1895, 1891. Yeah, so a memorial here. Due to the passage of time, the names and dates of the other people buried here will forever be unknown to us. May they rest in peace. Oh, so there's a lot of unknown burials. Yeah, un unknown burials here. Wow. wow. So not there's a perimeter here around the cemetery, but imagine there's probably more folks buried here. And there's no markers or anything to, 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 to tell where they are or who they are. You can tell like. that that's really old. Yeah, and it just crumbled here. So you can't tell who that's, or when. you know, the age of time. Mm-hmm. Very interesting to stumble across mm -hmm. this long lost grave here in this ghost town. What's nice is someone has taken the time to fix up the tombstone here. Yeah. Did you see this one? Oh, is... okay. So they're the same last. That's what it says. Black Mum. Wow. Mun. Black Mum. Black Mun. Okay. Isaac A. Black Mun. He was there. a veteran. Yeah. Sergeant. Having markings on them. Very interesting. Yeah, so these here. are some of the unknowns. You see, like you said, know. little trinkets here and there. Yeah. You see some beads here. With a little cross. Yeah, it looks like a rosary right here. Beautiful. Amazing, huh? Yeah, that's really nice. Peaceful cemetery here in the woods, isn't it? Nice resting it place. You can hear yeah. just the sounds of the birds and nature. Glad this place is here, preserved for what it is today, because you can still discover and learn about the surrounding history of this area. Many that come out here may wonder, What's this cemetery just doing out here in the woods? It was part of a town, a community exactly. at one time. There's min many memories made here, so. Oh. Most of this area has been maintained over the years and very well kept. A lot of graves from 1800s here. Yeah. And the town was starting to thrive. Here's one from 18... 1860. 1860. 1860 to 1896. That's a long life for back in those days. Sacred memory of Carol Perry. Life of A.J. McCatter. McCatter. You can see. That's cute. A butterfly fell. People place trinkets and flowers here by the graves. There's a cross there. 
that's nice. They're still coming to visit their loved ones and family, you know, and taking, beautiful. keeping them. Very beautiful. You could see that there's a, a little chain there with a couple crosses on there as well. Great here because you said that there's a child also buried on the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, here's one 1885, 1891. Wow. What's the date on that side? This one's 1881 to 1893. Babies. It was a hard life back in those days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Influenza, mm -hmm. different illnesses. And so a lot of these cemeteries you'll see infant graves sadly in these areas. Yeah. They didn't have the things that we have these yeah. days. We take it for granted. Yeah, we really do. Yeah. When they didn't have the see. pharmaceuticals and right. the medication that we have today. The medicine that we have today is state of the art and really makes a big difference. Whereas back in the day, they didn't have as many doctors, as much medication as we have today. Yeah, exactly. and some of these towns did have general stores and places you can go to get medicines and things like that. Yeah. So who knows what this town may or may not had the resources. Exactly. And so, yeah, we're seeing some infant graves here and a variety of people buried here, different time periods. Let's take a look around this section here. Now, I mentioned there's a perimeter here around the cemetery, but I believe it's bigger than what it shows today. There's more people buried throughout the area, just from the Yeah, we're you were saying that there were some unmarked yeah. graves yeah. out here as well. Yeah. Today, Florida Trailblazer. How you doing? Good Great to see guy. You. Nice it to be is, on the uh, adventure. Very informational about these places and, you know, knows a lot about history here in Florida and I really love his show. He teaches a lot, and he'll explain to you all the different layers of history that's here in Florida. Look at these guys. They go pretty, pretty far in there. Do they go under the rock and keep going or what? I'm not sure. But there's another um, crack over there that looks like it goes pretty far as well. Really neat. So you people go in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amazing. I can't wait to Maybe go check Americans it out. Americans may have lived down there. Maybe. Yeah. Kept them away from the elements. Kept them out of the elements then. unless the water went in there. I'm not sure. Welcome to the cavern. Welcome home. <laughs> 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 this is where we're staying now. <laughs> yep. Getting away from it all. Get away from the elements in here. <laughs> That's for sure. It's nice and cool. Yep. So I'm seeing some graffiti here in this cavern it's sad and unfortunate that people feel they need to come out here and destroy these sites and vandalize them there's no need for that no and it just ruins it this is a natural historical place here in the forest and you can look over here someone is spray painted that's so ridiculous that's so disrespectful right here on the rocks these ancient rocks check that out Amazing. So you can look down in. We were just standing down there. Yeah, that's cool. It's a different perspective looking down how far sure. that really goes. I mean, the perspective when you're down there looking up looks like you can just climb that wall. But when you're up here looking down, that's quite a distance there. I would say at least, what, 40 feet? Somewhere around. I wouldn't yeah. want to fall down that hole. At All least, at least 40 feet. Yeah. 30 to 40 feet, yeah. maybe. Um, mm -hmm. It's hard to say, but it definitely goes down in there. And it makes you wonder when this opened up, up top here, how long ago it did. Very interesting. Got to be careful up here. There's another crevice just over there 